Hey guys, my name is Kayla Cake and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this super glowy look. I know, I know, <laughs> I know you see it, I know you see it. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this look, but also how I get a glowy look while having oily skin. And I know a lot of oily skin girls were scared of the word glowy or dewy and you know, we just want to stay matte all the time because we don't want our oils to just bust through and you know ruin the party so i have kind of um figured out a way how i keep my oils down while still be looking like glowy for the summertime you know we don't want to be looking all dry matte and crusty for the summertime you know we save that for the winter time we save the the super matte looks for the winter time but for summertime we want to look like we have a nice glow a nice you know radiance to us so I am here to share the way that I do it um, of course there's different tons of ways that people do it here on YouTube so according to your skin tone well not skin tone but skin type I'm sorry you can you know tweak and you know just take little pieces from what I'm doing and put it into your routine so that maybe you can be glowy too because we all deserve to glow like let's just let's be honest so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. And also, don't forget to turn on those post notifications because we all know YouTube has been acting crazy. So, if you want to know when I post, definitely turn on those post notifications so that you know when I post. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, so I already um, moisturized my face with my Aveeno Clear Complexion. I use this literally all the time it's just the best it makes my skin feel so plump after which is what I love so so now I'm gonna use this dr. Brandt luminizer primer and it's just like a very sheer type of glow um, to give my skin under my foundation so I'm just gonna use about that much and I'm really just gonna put it like at the high point to my face and where I want that glow to kind of like come from. I did just get a little bit more and put some down my nose and one more chin. I'm kind of just keeping it at the high points of my face. Then I'm gonna use my blurring primer from Cover FX and I'm just gonna put that like where I have the larger pores, which is like right under my eyes here. Just rub it into wherever I have my largest pores at, which is mostly on my nose and right under my eyes and a little bit here right above my eyebrows all right so for foundation i'm going to be using my cover fx power play foundation y'all i love this stuff like whoo i love this stuff so much it looks like this and it will here's the top to it. it looks like this focus focus yes i love this stuff i'm in the color g50 i just i don't know i literally love 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 this foundation now i'm gonna take my beauty blender and just blend it on out and i'm gonna add a little bit more in this area just because um i do have some darker scars there and i'm actually gonna use a brush to do that i'm just gonna add a little bit more and i'm gonna use my morphe m439 it looks like this this is my favorite brush to apply foundation when I want like a super full coverage. So I'm just gonna use this in that area. I've been trying so many things to get rid of my scars but it's just not working. So I think I'm actually going to get a chemical peel. I'm not entirely sure what I wanna do yet but I have been looking into it so stay tuned for that. I definitely do want to well, I've been considering the chemical peel like a lot lately, so. So for concealer, I'm just gonna use my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. I love this so much just because of, number one, the formula is like bomb, but for two, this applicator is just everything to me. Like it's so flexible and it like flexes like this. And I just love it. Like especially because my under eye is so sensitive it's extremely sensitive so it's just everything to me like i just love it all right now i'm gonna go with my beauty blender and just blend that on out so 
So to set my face, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier powder. This is just like my holy grail. I love this powder so much. I've tried so many different powders and none of them work like as good as this one for me. Um, I just like the perfect undertone and I find that it keeps the brightness in my concealer. Other powders kind of like dim it down. Um, so I'm still looking for more powders because I don't want to just keep buying the same one. I want to experiment and use different ones. So hopefully I find one that's like really, really good. ColourPop is coming out with some new skincare, not skincare, but skin products, complexion products. So I'm hoping that maybe some of that can be one of my holy grails because it's ex it's not expensive you know what i'm saying laura is a good like 38 dollars which is <sighs> that's crazy <laughs> And while I don't want to set my face too, too, too much, I'm just going to set my smile lines because I crease really bad there and around my mouth too is where I get the most like creases and like, I don't know, cracks and whatever you call it. So I'm just going to set it like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some of my Sephora Micro Smooth. This is my boo. Like, I don't know what I even did before this, okay? I don't know. I really don't know what I did before this, but I love this powder so much. I just, it's just bae, for real. Like, it's, it's just been a game changer in my makeup. No flashback, okay? Like, I'm straight when I use Sephora Micro Smooth. So I'm gonna set my face very, very lightly um, with this, I'm not going to pack it on like I usually do like that. I'm just going to sweep it across and set it just a little bit just so that I'm safe with, you know, like transfer proofing. And I just want to set it just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? All right, so now I'm going to go with my Anastasia Powder Bronzer. This is the color Saddle. I actually have not used this yet, but it's like this color right here. And like I said, I haven't used this yet, so we're going to see how it looks. <laughs> Hopefully it looks good. I actually like this color. This is a really good color. Ooh, it's getting a little carried away here. Whoa. All right, so to sculpt just a little bit, I'm gonna use my Smashbox. This is called, I don't know what this is called, but it's like a three, step thing I guess I'm gonna use this color clearly I love this color too contour it is just my favorite to create shadows it's like my favorite perfect color so I'm just gonna you know tuck that right under where I put that bronzer just to give me like that you know and then I'm also gonna use it on my nose All right, now that I kind of have my base on, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. And I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics Brow Power in the color Universal Taupe. This is my favorite brow product right now. And if you know me, you know I don't play about my brows. Like I do not play. So I am just, well for one, I'm trying to find a drugstore dupe so if you guys know any drugstore dupes to any of the products that i'm using today please let me know because i want to do a full face drugstore um but i haven't been to the drugstore in so long and so now i'm going to add a little bit of blush and i know y'all probably like girl you're gonna bump your head talking about something you're gonna put on some blush you don't never wear blush but okay guys um oh my god it doesn't have a name on the bottom it's from ofra it looks like this i think it's called like um something rose i'll put it down in the description below but it looks like this it's this color here and it's just going to add a little bit more bronze to me um and it does have a little bit of shimmer so yeah yeah just gonna add that right like above where 
my bronzer is. All right, so now for glow, I'm gonna be using this Dosa Colors Desi X Katie um, highlighter in the color Fuego, and it looks like this. I chose this one because it makes me look bronze, but also wet, like literally wet. I'm just, I'm in love. I'm just going to throw some really all over low key. Um, but I'm using a very, very light hand with this because it can get out of control. Like it can get crazy. So we are just going to do something really, really light and very feathery so that it's not just um, in one spot. I want it to be kind of like natural, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna take a little smaller brush and I'm just gonna pop that in my inner corner. This really like brightens up my whole face, I swear. That inner corner highlight, cannot leave the house without it ever. Okay, now that we are like literally glowing for the God, oh my God, I feel like a goddess right now, oh my God. A dose of colors goddess. So now I'm going to go ahead and set my face before I put on any lashes and stuff. I'm going to set my face with this Mario Badescu facial spray, basically the rose water spray. <laughs> um, I'm not going to read all that. But I'm going to set my whole face and then I'm going to set it with another setting spray. Hold, just, just wait. While that's drying, listen, we need to glow everywhere. So I'm just going to throw some all over. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to give y'all the glow. Like the the glow. Okay, I'm going to be using my Cover FX Illuminating Spray. It looks like this, y'all. Let me tell y'all. So I'm just going to spray this really on my high points and kind of stay away from the parts that I want to actually stay matte. So I'm just going to cover in like that. Cover this side. One spray is pretty much all right. I want my forehead to be kind of nice and dewy. So one spray there. Okay, so now my hair is in a bun. <laughs> and I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara. This is the Butter London Double Decker Lashes. Literally my favorite mascara ever, like ever. <laughs> so I'm just gonna push my um, top lashes up. And I think I'm just gonna leave my bottom ones alone. Cause I don't want the focus to be on my eyes. I want it to be on, you know, the skin. So I think with like just top lashes, it gives me like a very fresh look as to where if I do my bottom lashes, it'll give me a very glam look. So I kind of just want the top lashes to be pushing through, you know? I'm gonna throw just a tiny bit on my bottom lashes just so they're existent, you know what I mean? But just the tiniest bit, not as much as I usually do, which is a million pounds. And for lips, I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of my over-the-top gloss from Dose of Colors. <sighs> Unfortunately, this is like limited edition, so they don't have it anymore. But it is my favorite gloss ever. Dose of Colors, if you are watching, bring it back. I'm telling you, bring it on back. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just wanted to give you guys a super glowy summer look for people like me who have oily skin and we're kind of scared of the glow, but we just don't know how to do it correctly. You know what I mean? So this is a good way to do it. There's plenty of ways to do it. Um, you know, of course, according to what your skin type is like, but um, yeah, if you have super oily skin, hey, I got you sis. So yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.